action. Stay in the middle, stay in the middle. Hey there, Frank Capello here, FCAP. Today I want to talk about green screens and blue screens. Oh no, not this subject again. YouTube must have 10,000 of these videos out there. They tell you everything to do, all the technical crap, but you know what? They mostly tell you about doing it inside, the little interviews. But what if you want to do expansive scenes where there's a lot of people in the shot, where people come from far, far away, away, all the way up without their head going off the green screen? How do you do that? I had that problem on The Womb, the feature film I just finished. So I built my own green screen, big one. Portable, lightweight, I could take anywhere, tie it up, impervious to wind, wrinkle free, and I want to show you how I did it. I'm going to reassemble it. Maybe you'll get some ideas, you'll build one yourself. But it worked for us, it might work for you. So here we go Frank's big green screen. <laughs> All right, now that we're in the bright sun, after I had to take a break, sorry about that, we're doing a diagonal brace between these two so it doesn't flex as much. Go ahead and tie three knots, like you did as a kid. And three, that's good. That's this end. Anyway, on the other end, and these are around 15 feet each, maybe even a little longer, I leave them long. Slip it through, then find out how far it goes until it tightens up really tight, right? So when you do a trucker's knot, what's cool is you can tighten it as tight as you want. See how this stuff stretches? It can stretch and stretch and stretch. We want to take our hand right here, okay? Now let's see about right here, because we want to take this and make a loop in it. You see that? There's a loop. This is a trucker's knot. Then you loop that back around like this, and you tighten it up like that magic of this is you now have like an eye pulley so you take the other end it's looped through the eyelet and you pull it like this and you keep pulling and see how you can pull this thing now you take it like this like that then like this like that and you get this great knot that you can really pull on it. And now we're gonna run this one way over there, as I did the other. And now you'll notice I've tied a knot already on this one. Okay, and now with both of these tied tight, it's not gonna flex as much. Okay, so now, once you've got that, you want as much friction as you can get. That the rope's friction actually stops it from, from moving. Now, to turn this over, it's very easy. Pick it up, you have the center one, walk it over, it's very light, and lay it back down. And now we're gonna put the green screen on. Now what makes this kind of design pretty cool is what I did was I put one of these on it. So this is a tarp you can buy at Home Depot anywhere for like $15, $17. 
I'm going to put the black side up because that's where the green screen is going to be on this. So I'm going to put this up and the, the aluminum side will reflect heat from the sun if it's standing up. These are ball bungee um, stretch things. They're really cool. These are, I think, the 9 and I get the 11 inch. So all you do is you take this and you start by going through the grommets that are built into these tarps. And then you stretch it around like this. Now, like I say, if you need it tighter, you can take this and go around it once. You have 24 of these. That's how many grommets there are. So I'm going to do them really quick for you. At first, I only do every other grommet. All right, so I'm going to do this, and now I'll do time lapse. See this corner right here? Now, take one of these cords, pull it up on here, and then stretch it around the screw. And that'll pull it right to the end. That's why the screws up here are really good to have. And that's it. Okay, so that's the backing that the green screen is going to be on. All right, so here we go. This is the top of the screen. This is the bottom. See where the ropes are, where you tighten it and everything. So you want to start at the top. Now I bring two bricks with me because when I'm doing it alone, the wind blows it. So I'm going to put a brick here and you'll notice this is 12 feet. So it's going to stick out on the sides. Okay, then we put the brick here, pull it up. It's going to be longer. So this we want to hang down and you'll get a nice little transition at the bottom you can pull out. Why would you shoot green screen inside if you don't have the studio space? Why not shoot outside? Because the sun has parallel light and will hit that green screen. There won't be a bright spot and a dark spot if you were putting a light here. And overcast is even better because now everything is lit. And then you can bring in LED lights on the side of your character, but that green screen will be perfect. So how do we clip this to the cloth? How do we pull it tight? We use these. This is one type. So you basically open them up like this and it will pinch the cloth in between there. And then you tighten it down. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to show you how to put one on. We're going to start at the top and we're going to start in the middle. All you do is you open this up enough and you pinch it onto the cloth and you crank it down. Okay? And what you're going to do is on these, there you go. As I get to the close to the end, notice that we have a lot more fabric. So what we don't want to do yet is to go right to here. So we should go to about right here and I'll tell you why. Because we're going to fold that under when we do the edges. All right, so I'm going to wrap this one a couple of times. Notice, I'm going to do that at the other end too. Now that I have the top done, and you notice here, I have a lot left over. And we're going to have to take off almost a foot, it looks like, on this because it's a 12 by 10. Someone helping you, this is really quick. But if you're doing it yourself, yeah, it is a little tough. But you're tucking it underneath, see? The wind is trying to blow me away. I'll put a brick here, and I'm gonna get my first one here. I tuck it under enough to where on this first one, I can pull it. Okay, there we go. Tighten that down. Pull it over here. I'm at the other side. 
again, I loop it under. I take one of these again, and I put it right here. This time, I want to pull this tight. Okay, I'm going to pull it as tight as I can. That means looping these as many times as I can. Now we can put one up here. And that's what stretches this thing really nice. Okay, so I need a little more underneath because of the thing is not the right size. Make your life easier and find the exact right size. The nice thing is you can get even the most wrinkled green screen flat. People are going to say, I've never seen something so complicated. Yeah, but the thing is, where do you see how it performs? That's the most important thing. I want to stretch it like this. I want to get it tight. The one last thing I want to do on these is the bottom. I've got to put one right on the edge here. Clamp it down. And this one will go right around this whole little corner. I learned this after doing this a bunch of times where I had this stuff on the bottom. But you could always see the black pole on the bottom. And I had to mat people's feet in, like if the feet were on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna add a few more. Okay, this is all done. The bottom is loose, you'll see it? That way there's a flow. Now I'm gonna lift it up. There's not a lot of wind now. And this is how easy this thing is to move, even by one person. If I need to move this around, I just pick it up. Now, you can see this is a green screen. Now, how do we keep this up? That's what the hooks on top are for. This is what I use it to tie it to things, tie it to poles, or actually even use these to put it into the ground. And this thing will stand up anywhere, even in strong wind. So this is probably propylene rope. The other was nylon. Nylon stretches. This does not stretch. On this one, I'm going to do the same three knots as I did on the other one. And we're going to use a trucker's knot on the other side near the ground. Ah, I'm lifting this thing up and very easy and I'm using a ladder to rest it against. Okay. There it is. I'm doing this alone for the first time all the way. Okay. And what we need to do is go around this pole here. And then this one will go over here. So we have a green screen up. Samantha Johnson, right? Samantha Johnson, right? Shammy. In 48 hours, it will all be incinerated. In 48 hours, it will all be incinerated. One way or another, this virus will end here. I'm not going either way. Hey there, so that's Frank's big green screen. I'm glad you watched it all the way to the end. And if you want more content like this, subscribe, like, actually comment below because we can learn from each other. Tell me I'm crazy. Tell me this thing was too complicated. Whatever you want to do. And I'll tell you, if you want to be a real filmmaker out there, you're going to fight against a studio system that won't hire people like us anymore. See, we're the DIY guys. We do things our own way. And we can give the audience what they want. So no matter who you are, no matter what kind of films you do, keep shooting. Show the world the real truth of the real people. This is Frank, FCAP, signing out. Right, right.